What is good everybody today? We're back with a brand new WWE Elite Series 2-in-1 review on the WWE Elite Series 110 Roman Reigns and Austin Theory figures. Now I've been waiting on this review for a very long time because of this coveted Roman Reigns Elite 110 figure over here and we're going to get into everything of course as we dive into this review. But if you didn't know this figure heavily disappointed me when it was revealed and we'll break down all of that and get into it as we progress throughout the video. But we do have some brand new things going on with both of these figures that I'm pretty excited about. I am excited about these figures regardless of the disappointment and I am excited to dive into it with you. If you guys want to grab these figures you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Always appreciative of Ringside Collectibles. But today man we do have Roman Reigns. We have Austin Theory. No strangers to our coveted Mattel WWE action figure line. But here's a shot of the Tribal Chief in the packaging. Oh buddy. Why? 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 But here's Roman Reigns, of course, standard elite packaging, handsome man on the side there, handsome man on the back, and it looks like he has a faded, tapered beard on the back of the box, by God. But you have the rest of the figures in the wave, actually seven figures in this wave compared to the traditional six. But there's our Tribal Chief, and then we do have Austin Theory, who does feature a brand new head sculpt and a torso and everything going on. Man, I'm excited for this one, but we are going to crack both these figures out of the packaging, taking a shot there. As you can see, there comes with the U.S. title. Both these guys both come with championship gold, so it should be a fun one, man. But with that all being said, I finally got our new rotating base, so let's crack these guys out of their packaging, put them on there, and find out what the hell these two guys are all about. So here's Elite 110, Roman Reigns, and Austin Theory out of our packaging. Of course, we're going to dive into all the details surrounding both of these figures, and we are going to start off with our one and only Tribal Chief. So what we're going to do is dive into the accessories that you get with the big dog, Roman Reigns, and then we'll dive into Roman Reigns himself. I'm actually quite impressed with some of the things going on with these figures, and maybe I'm not as disappointed as I once was. We'll find out together as we go through the review, but with that being said, let's dive into the Tribal Chief's accessories. So getting into the Tribal Chief's accessories, we get our brand new Undis Undisputed Championship. So this is the coveted Undisputed WWE Championship in the modern era and for some reason man you know when you review these titles in the backstage area like this the glare is always bad so the exposure on the camera gets a little messed up so the area around it is darker but I do want to bring in a custom championship just to compare the two because I do have a, I've had this championship for a while now because I've had a custom but if you look at the two right here you will notice that you're getting a lot more yellow color from the official from Mattel and then you have more of a gold from my boy Dan Turnquist over there. A lot more details probably in this one. And one thing I don't like that Mattel doesn't include is you'll notice on the bottom of the championship right here it says Undisputed Champion like the actual title. But on this one it's just a black bar. And I tried my best to get in there and see if you can actually see it. But it still just looks blank. And the side plates are also not very detailed either. And you don't get the red jewels in the corners and stuff. So you know it is. I know it's a mass produced belt. This is custom made. You can hand craft it for the most part. So I understand that. But it is an interesting thing to take a look at look at but I am glad to finally see this in the line it took long enough I just thought that this would be some sort of promo gear or thousand day reign Roman Reigns or when the championship was revealed Roman Reigns in a you know man bun with like promo street you know the joggers and the track suits stuff like that and then something we have seen already before we do have the red colored Ula Fala and it looks pretty good I always like the sculpt on these they fit the figure well and this isn't the first time we've gotten this it won't be the last I'm sure but it is an accessory they tend to throw in with Roman Reigns nowadays Days, which makes sense. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get the fisted hands. The right side is a sculpted gauntlet hand, which looks good, and it has the red peg, so that's always a bonus. And of course, he's beating the hell out of people. Then you do get your mic holding or weapon wielding style hands, which are also sculpted, which are very nice. And last but not least, you do get the with the ones hands or the pointing fingers, and it is sculpted like a gauntlet with the red peg, so that's all good. That is such a unique detail right there that they totally nail. But let's pause for a quick announcement. Sunday, June 16th. 7 p.m. Central Time. Join me for another epic WhatNot stream. What is WhatNot, you say? Think of it like eBay and Twitch combined together. It's pretty much live-streamed online shopping, modern-day QVC. Go to the description down below, use my invite link, download the WhatNot app, and receive $15 off your first purchase. Also, be sure to bookmark my show for Sunday night because not only will we be giving away a mystery WWE action figure, we will also be auctioning off never-before-seen customs made by yours truly, custom-made championship belts including the coveted elite and mdt championships we're going to have custom wrestling action figure fodder weapons and more things that you can use in your wwe and aew action figure collections not to mention plenty of other crazy surprises that will take place during our whatnot stream so go down to the description download whatnot today using my link below and let's get back to the tribal chief 
Alright man, the moment we've been waiting for, the new Roman Reigns head sculpt. I will say, I think it does look a bit off, but I still don't think it's a bad head sculpt. My biggest disappointment with this figure was the tapered, faded beard. And if you guys don't know what that means, I do like that it's blank there in the middle. That is accurate, but it should be thicker down here. There's no fade on the side. Like, you see where it's very dark here uh, from the hair, and it gets very jet black? That should not be there. It should be a gradient. I've seen them do it. They've done it on many head sculpts. They've done it. I've seen it happen. This is supposed to be dark that fades to light to nothingness to nothingness to fade into a thick beard. Not that difficult, man. Or maybe it is. I don't know. But I don't hate this head sculpt. I think there's likeness. I just don't think it's the best head sculpt of all time of Roman. But I do like it. You know, it's, it's serviceable, I guess. It's like certain times I look at it, I like it. And then other times I'm like, what the hell is even that? What the hell is even that? The hair sculpt looks good. You know, they always give him this super jack torso, which I think works for him for the most part. I, You know, they always over emphasize a little bit more than he actually is but the arms the shoulders everything looks good here i like this for roman reigns tattoos are clean i remember you got your kids these days don't even know about the shoulder gap tattoo my god oh hell no man what the fuck tattoo looks very very clean back tattoo looks very very clean that looks very aesthetically pleasing they did a good job here on all our graphics and decals gauntlets look really good you have the black on the left and the red on the right it does look a little bit overexposed but the red color i would say is pretty good for the most part I'm turning on the colors a little bit there, but you have the same black shield legs we've seen for a decade, and then you do have the elite version of Roman Reigns boots here in the red, and I think it would have been cool to throw the Ultimate Edition boots on here. We do know that in the Target exclusive TMNT line, the Shredder Roman Reigns is coming with Ultimate boots, so I think throwing them in here would have been a nice touch, but I'm not going to crucify it. I don't hate it. It just looks a bit odd, but I don't know. I, I, I prefer the red boots over the black boots, so we'll take that. Now, in terms of articulation, it's your standard Roman Reigns. It's going to do all the bells and whistles, double jointed arms. Like, it's it's gonna do all the things you need it to, and the only thing I don't like about Roman Reigns figures, posing-wise, is the shield legs, which is actually, you know, I in the pick fed, I did want him when I, you know, when I created the Bloodline faction over, what was it, seven years ago or something like that? It may have been longer than that. I think it was seven years ago or something. I just wanted him to change his look a little bit. I thought that it would be cool if he were to rock some shorts and, like, I don't know, play with his look a little bit, and so that's what I did, and it made it a lot more fun to pose around, so the shield legs can get a bit weird. They just like to slide and stuff. It's like this leg combination with this boot mold just calls for that but here's our Roman Reigns let's get into some other Roman Reigns figure comparisons all right so for your Roman Reigns figure comparisons here we have a bunch of different Roman Reigns from different figures and we'll break down all of the lore here man got a lot to discuss so just buckle the hell up from left to right we have my custom promo gear man bun Roman Reigns with the correct faded beard we have a top picks Roman Reigns with a custom shirt we have the MDT pick fed bloodline style we have the most recent ultimate edition Roman Reigns here the elite 110 the elite Elite 103 with a custom shirt. And then we have three different tracksuit Romans. And these two are the Ultimate Edition, the first Ultimate Edition. They just had tracksuits on. And this is what I figured that we would get from Mattel. I thought that this figure was going to be a version of this. I thought that it would have a man bun with the correct beard, the fade, all the different details in a promo gear. I didn't know if it would be cloth goods. I didn't know if it would be a brand new sculpted torso with some joggers. I didn't know what they were going to do. But they decided to just go with the run-of-the-mill Roman Reigns Elite that we have seen so many times before. We've seen yet so many Roman Reigns at least that I didn't even want to compare them. There was no point in comparing them. I wanted to give you a modern look at all different types of Roman Reigns. You have the Elite 103. I mean, like, these figures are essentially the exact same. This one has looked like the last three top picks Romans. This one pretty much looks like the last few mainline Romans. And then we have the Ultimate Edition there. And we can do some head swaps and stuff, but I thought that the Elite 110 Roman would be the 1,000 Day Reign Roman like this, but I thought it would have the head sculpt like this over here. You can see with, like, the fade. And even even this custom head sculpt really doesn't even have the fade. It has a little bit of the fade. Roman has a skin fade in real life, and this one doesn't even have a skin fade. So, you know, it is what it is, man, but I really enjoy this Levels Above custom promo gear Roman right there. I think that looks so sick with the watch and things, but one thing I also want to do is take the new Elite 110, and I do want to pop the head sculpt off and put it on the Ultimate, just in case you guys want to see what that looks like. So... It kind of sits a little low, to be honest. I don't like that. I think that if you're going to put this on, you're going to have to leave it up a little bit. So if you push this all the way down on the new Ultimate Roman, or the most recent Ultimate, when you push it down, it does sink pretty damn low. Look at that. He has no neck. So that's definitely something that you want to think of. You can sit it on there like a little bit, and it looks a lot better, but certainly worth noting. And then I wanted to bring this in here and just compare these two head sculpts. 
And again, this figure on the left is a custom head sculpt, but it doesn't have the skin fade that I'm really talking about. But the beard is better in my opinion. But I don't know, man. I mean, I'm still waiting on Finn Balor's skin fade or his faded beard and taper too. So, you know, it's just something that they really need to include. It just adds so much realism and niceness to the figure. And then for some other Roman Reigns Elite 110 comparisons, we have him up next to the rest of the bloodline here. We do have the Ultimate Edition ringside exclusive Uso figures. We have the Elite 107 Solo and the Tribal Chief versus Beast Incarnate 3 pack Paul Heyman Elite. And it looks pretty good here. I know it's not completely perfectly accurate, but I do like the way these all look. I think Solo looks like a damn clown in that suit, though, man. I Take that suit off, bro. What are you doing? Well, what are we doing here? But I do like the way the Roman vibes with the rest of the bloodline. And then for another Roman Reigns figure comparison, we do have our new Undisputed Champion, which would be the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. You have my fix-up suited Cody Rhodes over here with the Undisputed title, and then the Ultimate Edition WrestleMania 39 version of Cody Rhodes, just to see what these two rivals look like up next to each other. I thought it would be a pretty cool comparison. And then for one last comparison, we do have our final Boss Rock fix-up custom figure here up next to Roman Reigns in the Elite Series 110 and our Cody Rhodes figure. So you kind of have the main event of WrestleMania. And I guess if you really want to make things super fresh or whatever the hell, we can uh, bring Seth Rollins in here. So I do have like a fix-up Elite 109 Seth Rollins. You can throw him in there and then now you kind of have your full main event of night number one, which was such a trip, man. So it is cool to see these up next to each other and we'll, we'll probably get some figures of that matchup down the line. Absolutely. And then just for a nice shot, here's the MDT Championship on the champion. We have Roman Reigns with the MDT title. Bloodline and all. Called way before it actually happened, which is just ridiculous. But this title looks fantastic on this figure. It really does fit well. Nice and snug. Just looks natural. And then getting into theories, accessories, we do get another championship, which is going to be a championship we've come to know, but it is still fairly new. We have the United States Championship. And one thing Mattel has implemented over the last year or so has been custom side plates. They're coming in the championship showdown pack. We've seen them in multiple championships. We've seen it with Bobby Lashley. We've seen it with Roman Reigns. We've seen this with a few different guys now, Gunther and all those different things. But one thing I always thought that, that would make this U.S. title way better is if they painted behind the stars royal blue. Do you not think that that would make the championship pop off way more? And I don't hate this version of the U.S. title. I just think that that would make it pop a lot more. But it looks okay. And also, the champion right here looks black to me. It doesn't look the accurate royal blue color. But I think that painting behind the stars would just make this so much better. But you do have the theory side plates in there. And I'm actually surprised he doesn't come with cloth goods of some kind, but he does come with mic holding hands. And then he comes with his signature pose hands, but I'm pretty sure, isn't the thumb supposed to be out here? I could be wrong, but they did include these. These are like, when I look at this, I think of Adam Cole Bebe hands, you know what I mean? And I think the thumb is supposed to be out here, so I, I could be wrong about that, but you can let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know. Is the thumb not supposed to be out here? Maybe they couldn't sculpt that, or maybe they just thought that it was just the twos like this, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that does it for Austin Theory's accessories. And I'm getting into the Austin Theory figure at the top of the head sculpt. Like I said, I do like this head sculpt a hell of a lot. And just like Roman Reigns, doesn't have the skin fade. I'm pretty sure Austin Theory is supposed to have a nice fade here. That's like there's a gap there, but they can't get that gradient, man. Can't get the gradient, so he actually needs to have the faded taper beard as well. So, like, all these different guys on television are rocking the faded or skin fade beard, the tapered beard, and we're just not getting it, so it's unfortunate, but I do like this head sculpt a lot. I think it looks like Theory. Kind of looks like a guy I went to middle school with as well. Kind of odd there. Um, yeah, he was on drugs, I think, for a little bit there. But we do have this brand new torso, which I really like for Theory. I think it adds, you know, he's a little bit beefier there, which I could see them possibly using this on some other characters, which they will for sure. They're definitely going to do so and it's cool because we've seen a lot of torsos that look very similar to this but not quite right like we have a ricochet we have a ricochet torso we have a finn balor slash seth rollins randy orton style torso we have this torso we have the apollo cruz bobby Roode style torso and it's really cool to see these new torsos come to light because you can play around with those formulas and things so that is always nice and also in theory is very posable and i can already tell this guy's going to also be very posable but we do have this new attire here. I definitely don't like this gear as much as the Captain America or the black and silver. I don't think it's just a bit plain Jane, but we do have the details on the wrist tape. I do think the arms are too small. I think he could definitely use bigger arms for whatever reason. And I think the striated shoulders like the Roman Reigns figure has would really add to the figure. So they would give him the striated shoulders and bigger arms. It would really add to the figure, I think. I would give him possibly the Roman Reigns style arms, I think, or, you know, those just more beefier arms would really make this figure stand out. But Austin Theory all day, you got the A-Town on the the leg a little bit of paint mishap there but he is on he has like pinless legs 
which allows for tightness, but the knee pads look good, the boots look good. You get all these logos and different things going on, so that is good for your A-Town down. But this figure is pretty damn sweet, man. I mean, he's on ball joints. Legs are a bit stiff, but he can kick forward very, very well. And, you know, I don't think you're going to have any issues posing this guy around. He really is a joy to pose around. But all of Austin Theory's figures, he's much like Damian Priest, man. I know that Damian Priest is bad at 1,000. Austin Theory, I wouldn't say, is quite bad at 1,000. I thought his first release, the head was too big. And then I thought his second release, the head sculpts were too goofy. This is the best Austin Theory figure ever made. I can confidently say that. Is it perfect? No, but I think it's still the best one that's been made to date. So that's definitely something you want to do. And also, I forgot in the Roman Reigns portion, forgot to do the kick forward. On these shield legs, you're not going to get the best kick forward for whatever reason, but it's definitely something worth noting. But let's get into some Austin Theory figure comparisons. And a few different things here. I don't have his first Elite here. I cannot find it for whatever reason, but I would leave that one out. It's very outdated and the head sculpt's too big. It looks like a damn bobblehead. And I never got to chase Austin Theory from this previous, this Elite 102. Or maybe it was Elite 101. I think it was Elite 102. Elite 102 Austin Theory. And I did head swap it with that basic that looks a lot better, but I prefer the long beard. And he still looks like that guy from middle school. But, but yeah, this is an upgrade. I think this is an upgrade, even though I like this gear better. I think this torso is better and things like that. And then we do have Grayson Waller to compare him to if you guys want to see that, which is cool there. Yeah, I mean, easily, man. Easily the best Austin Theory to me, in my opinion. Even though, again, this head sculpt's really damn good, I just like the thicker beard. I think the beard looks good and everything. So, you know, still missing out on that damn skin fade, though. But I do think that about wraps up our 2-in-1 WWE Elite 110 Roman Reigns and Austin Theory figure review. At the end of the day, I'll cover the Theory figure first. I think the Theory figure is damn good. I love the head sculpt. I love the new bearded head sculpt. I know we just got it on that battle pack or that championship showdown pack with John Cena from WrestleMania 39. It's an excellent head sculpt, and I think that it continues that trim from that basic. It's hell of a lot better than the Elite with the goofy face sculpts. I mean, my God. The only gripe I would have about the Austin Theory is his arms. I think his arms are much bigger than this, and I'll definitely be trying to come up with something on surgery. We'll fix him up a little bit, even though you'll lose the wrist tape, which does bum me out. It's not the biggest deal of all time. Just having black wrist tape or white wrist tape won't, you know, ruin the entire day. But I think bigger arms would have sufficed. But I love the new torso, love the head sculpt. I think both are fantastic. And then the Roman Reigns figure, the only thing, like, the, the, the biggest thing about the disappointment isn't necessarily the head sculpt itself. It's just not having that faded tapered beard. I don't think the head sculpt's bad. It's just, it's just not what it should be. It does have the fade. It doesn't have the taper. Hell, even the bottom of the beard needs to be thicker. And then I also thought that this would be some sort of street gear. You know, we've seen so many Roman Reigns look just like this. They're just repainted as you guys saw before. And it's kind of wild that they didn't just throw the Ultimate Edition boots on here. But it's still a good Roman Reigns figure. I, when I say disappointment, I'm disappointed that the faded tapered beard is not there. The head sculpt in general is not bad. It looks a hell of a lot better than it did at WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, I did not like the way it looked. Especially, I mean, I was there in person looking at it through the glass. And I was like, hell no, this looks weird, man. I don't know what's going on with this Roman Reigns. But then getting it in the promo shots, getting it here in person, it's definitely a lot better. I think the head sculpt choice is going to be up to you, but at the end of the day, he still doesn't have the faded tapered beard. And one thing you could do, and I may play around with it, you might could paint it correctly and acetone and do some different stuff. We'll probably take a look at it on surgery, and I may be able to do it myself, but the sculpt is still not correct, and I thought that this would be some sort of promo gear, but addressing the figure as it stands right now in this video, it's still a damn good Roman reign. So that is what you will. You can make the decision. Do you want it? Do you want the new Undisputed Championship? I'm sure a lot of people are going to want this figure just for the title itself. It's also featured in a battle pack with Jey Uso and Roman Reigns, but this Undisputed title does look good in figure form, I'd say, and I think it looks better than that Championship Showdown pack. You get Roman Reigns side plates, of course. It looks good. You know, I think it looks damn good. It's a solid figure, and I enjoy both of these figures, and I think they're probably going to end up pretty high in the ranking when we rank Elite 110 from worst to best, but at the end of the day, it is up to you, but if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over at ringsidecollectibles.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, and also do not forget about the WhatNot stream coming up this Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time. Going to have a lot of great things going on. If you use the link in the description below, you get $15 off your first purchase. So if you've never downloaded it before, you want to get in on the action, man, go over there. Use the link in the description below. I greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to get as many signups as possible, man. I greatly appreciate it. You get $15 off and also 
I'm going to have things available on the stream that are less than 15 bucks, so you can legitimately get something for free if you go over there and sign up. Use that link in the description below. But before we get out of here, man, a huge shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. You guys are absolutely incredible. I appreciate all you fellas so very much, man. Thank you guys so very much for all that you guys do. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the review. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below. Go download Whatnot. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>